Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to use Food Standards Australia New Zealand Nutritional Panel Calculator so that you can create your own nutritional information panels for the products that you make. So for the first step is to go to the Fazan's website and I've popped the link down at the bottom for you on where you can find the nutritional panel calculator. The next step that you need to do is go to the launch, the NPC, which is down here in the light green colour. Clicking on that will bring up the terms and conditions. Please read those terms and conditions and then select I have read the terms and conditions and accept them. The next thing that you're going to come across is a page which says welcome to the nutritional panel calculator and it has already got some ingredients there or recipes there that I have had some fun creating nutritional information panels for. I'm going to show you how to do one today for a low sugar banana muffin. So here where it says create recipe I'm going to enter low sugar banana muffin and click create recipe. The next screen you'll come to is a three step system of creating your nutritional information panel. In the first step, you need to type in your ingredient that you're going to be using. Our first ingredient was self-raising flour. If I simply type in flour, I will get every ingredient that has the word flour in it or every food listed that has flour in the title. So I need to be rather specific. So I'm going to write self-raising flour and as soon as I've written self-raising I have only three options and the second one is flour wheat white self-raising. If I had have used wholemeal then I would be selecting this one but this is the one I've got and I go over to the right hand side and click add ingredient to your recipe which is the plus sign. The next step is to include how many grams you used. So with the recipes that I do I make them first and I weigh every ingredient that goes into the recipe. So I used 175 grams of flour. It either has to be listed in grams or kilograms. The next ingredient, I, all I have to do after I've entered in the weight is go up and begin typing the next ingredient I needed. That was caster sugar. And no ingredients comes up for caster sugar. So next time I'm going to try, try sugar and white. This time I get five options. If I go down to the first option is white granulated or lump sugar, which is probably as close as I'll get to caster sugar. It's the same thing, caster sugar is just finer. And then click the plus sign. And again, enter in the weight in grams. Next ingredient was egg. Now I'm going to get anything with egg in it. So custard comes up as your first ingredient. So next time, this time I'm going to write egg, chicken and raw. So it's a little bit more specific. And here I've got a whole egg, chicken, raw, and I click on the plus sign. Again, I can type in how many grams that is. Next ingredient is butter and ours was salted butter. That will narrow down the choices for me. Click on the plus sign and then write in 30 grams. Next ingredient, I've got two more ingredients to go. If I just typed in milk, I will get a lot of different kinds of milk, 52 different kinds. I need to be a bit more specific. It was skim milk. Now, when I type in skim milk, I can see here I've got milk, cow, fluid, skim, approximately 0.15%, which it was, and I'm clicking the plus sign and entering that weight, which was 100. Last ingredient to add was banana. And again, I'm going to get banana chips, banana dried, all different sorts of banana, but mine was just a normal peeled banana. Put in 100 grams of that one. And that's my total there. So that's all my ingredients in there. If I've accidentally listed one then that I don't need, then I can click on the 
delete button just here, which is pictured as a rubbish tin. Okay, the next step is step two. We write in our initial weight. So when I've put all these ingredients together in a bowl, they equaled 485 grams. This system adds all of those up and you can double check your results. When I've cooked them, I've again weighed them after I've cooked them. And that comes up, comes up as my final weight. My final weight was 375 grams. And that shows you how much of a percentage that is in, in uh, moisture loss. The next step here is to put how many serving sizes or the grams of those serving sizes. So I find it easier to put how many serving sizes I've got, which was six. And then I put in here how much each of those six serving sizes weighed, which was 62.5 grams. You can see here that we're about to generate the nutritional calculation panel, the nutritional information panel that you can use for a, for a food product. So you click here the PDF report. That will generate a little document to come down in the side of your computer on the left hand side corner. Click on that and then you can get a tally of your ingredients here. 